I will also maybe wish with a lot of humility and respect address my president, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, and tell him, Mr. President, there are men and women around you who you could be calling advisors, but you are in the hole you are today because of the misadvice they have given you. And a wise man wakes up one morning, has a retrospection in himself, sees the way things are. It does not matter who is close to you. In politics, it is your skin that matters, and this is a nation whose hands and survival, are, I mean, whose existence and survival are in your hands. It is important for you now to take action, the best action that you think should be taken, call in your deputies, sit together, get in your cabinet, do everything that you can, bring in all your advisors and ask yourself, uh, is this country moving in the right direction? If you are convinced it is moving in the right direction, Mr. President, then let's move on the way you are moving. But if you are convinced there is a reason to change, I humbly request you, as a man of God, to relook at the way this country is going, refocus. You made so many promises, they will not be achieved in this kind of atmosphere. The Gen Zs have made demands. You engaged with them, they told you what they wanted. None of their demands was for you to put up a 150 team to negotiate I don't know what. They have clearly told you, we do not want you to do this, they want you to do this. It is that simple. If they say that you reorganize your cabinet, kindly do. If they say you suck it, do it. There are 50 million Kenyans who can fit in those offices. But if you continue that kind of talk, that kind of push, that Evid, uh, you know, kind of moving away from reality, it will hit us hard and as a country, we will lose it all. You have a golden opportunity. This is a defining moment, Mr. President. Kindly think about this nation and do the very best you can.